I would like to introduce you to the Sabo Glove. This cutting edge device helps clients suffering from neurological and orthopedic injuries incorporate their hand functionally in therapy and at home. The lightweight, low profile functional design is just one of the innovative features that are offered with the Sabo Glove. The proprietary tension system extends the fingers and thumb following grasping so clients can engage their affected limb for task specific training. This newfound freedom leads to improved motor recovery and functional independence. Some of the exciting features that make up the Sabo Glove include a wrist splint design that is spiral in nature for maximum support and comfort, a comfortable and soft glove liner that can be removed for easy cleaning, forearm and hand straps to secure the affected hand during functional tasks. Numerous size tensioners are located at the finger and thumb joints to assist with extending the digits following grasping. These individualized tensioners can be removed to further customize assistance based on the client's needs. Finger sleeves have built-in lycra panels for expandability and comfort. Finally, a non-slip surface at the fingertips for traction during grasping. Non-slip is also located inside the liner to minimize distal migration of the device. Here's how the Sable Glove works. As a client flexes or squeezes his or her hand to attempt to grasp an object, the individual tensioners become taut. As a client begins to relax his or her flexors or stop gripping, the preloaded tensioners naturally want to recoil. This results in pulling back or re-extending the fingers to an open position. Therefore, the Sabo Glove is not only acting as a static support at the wrist, but also dynamically assisting with finger extension, which is typically lacking in many neurologic and orthopedic clients. Here are some video examples of clients using their affected hand with and without the Sabo Glove. In this first example, the client is unable to grasp the container due to limited wrist and thumb extension. With the Sabo Glove, function is now possible. With his wrist and hand now in a functional position, he is able to properly grasp and release the object. Here we have the same client failing to open the cabinet due to limited wrist extension. With the Sable Glove properly positioning his hand, he is able to gain independence and achieve the task. With this stroke survivor, he has the ability to flex his fingers. However, he is unable to extend or open his hand, therefore treatment options are limited. By positioning his hand functionally with the Sabo Glove, he is now able to perform grasp and release task training, which is essential for neuroplasticity and motor learning. Hand function would not be possible without this assistance. Finally, this last example is of a spinal cord injury client who lacks finger extension. As you can see, he's able to squeeze or flex his fingers. However, he's only able to partially extend, which impedes function. As he attempts to push the Velcro dowel by extending his fingers, it becomes quite evident that the task is too challenging. With the Sabo Glove on, finger extension is now evident following grasping. Also, with the help of the finger tensioners, the Velcro dial activity is now successful. This allows the client to properly train the weakened extensors, which was not possible without the Sable Glove. Now that we've reviewed video examples of how the Sable Glove can positively impact functional use, let's discuss clinical criteria and ideal candidates. Common neurological diagnoses for the glove include stroke, brain injury, spinal cord injury, MS, GBS, muscular dystrophy, just to name a few. Orthopedic diagnoses may include compartment syndrome or brachial plexus injury and radial nerve palsy. In essence, any individual with limited wrist and finger extension may be a candidate. Let's now review video examples of neurological clients that are appropriate for the Sabo glove. As you can see with this stroke patient, she is unable to extend her fingers with her wrist in neutral or slight extension. She is also unable to straighten her thumb at the IP joint. Similar to the last example, this client has difficulty fully straightening her fingers and thumb following grasping due to very mild hypertonicity. Here is an example of a spinal cord injury client. Not only does he lack finger flexion, but also has no extension. The glove combined with electrical stimulation would be recommended. Let's now review orthopedic video examples of clients that are appropriate for the Sabo Glove. This first example is a brachial plexus client that demonstrates decreased wrist extension when attempting to extend his fingers. Another good example of a Sabo Glove candidate is a radial nerve palsy client. 
In this video, the client lacks wrist and finger extension due to his injury. Now that we've reviewed videos of clients that are appropriate for the Sable Glove, let's discuss individuals who are not considered good candidates. The goal of the Sable Glove is to provide a low-profile device that can be used for functional use. In order to qualify for the glove, the client cannot exhibit hypertonicity of the long finger flexors. If the client is unable to shut off or relax his or her tone following grasping, the tensioners on the glove do not have sufficient force to re-extend the fingers. This type of client is more suitable for a high-profile device such as a Sable Flex. In addition to hypertonicity, clients should not have severe contractures or soft tissue shortening, as well as severe joint deformities, decreased cognition, or any open wounds. In this first example, soft tissue shortening and increased tone is preventing this stroke survivor from qualifying for the Sable Glove. Here's another example of a client not appropriate for the Sable Glove due to increased tone. Because of her hypertonicity, a high profile Sable Flex would be more appropriate for her. Thank you for watching the Sable Glove video. We hope you found this information helpful. For additional questions or further information, please visit us online at sabo.com.